So Ravi Zacharias, um, you ever read any of his books or uh, saw him no. on YouTube? I've I've seen him speak. An or, I've seen videos of him speak. I haven't seen him speak in person or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Never seen him speak in person, but I watch a lot of videos. He makes very good arguments on why Christianity is true. Like um, I read, uh, I can't remember which book I read. It wasn't that long ago. Yeah, <laughs> like not even a year ago, I read it. Um, it was actually right after he passed away that I think I read it. Maybe no, it was before that. Um, so when did he pass away? He didn't pass was, away that long ago. No, it was like within the last year. Yeah. And then as soon as he passed away, that's when some things started to come think, out about him. I thought there were some things coming up prior. Oh, were there? I, I think I, it was rumors, just like I told you about Carmen. Just yeah. get ready for the Carmen stuff coming. <laughs> but see, I don't. Yeah, uh, he died in May 2020. So it was actually almost a year ago at this yeah. point. And uh, but I remember when he died, like the the Christian world was you know posting all these things. You know, we lost a really great pastor, a great a great leader. One of the really like he was on the forefront of it came to apologetics, of like apologetics. explaining Christianity. And why he, it's true. he was like the face of like respected Christian leaders in our world today. Yeah, that that's who intelligent. he was. Intelligent, because if you don't, I, I'm sure not everybody knows who he is. If, I'm sure a lot of people do, but I'm sure a lot of people also don't. Right, and so he is. He wrote many books. A huge yeah. He was pastor. born in India. Yeah, I think he lived in Canada. Um, but yeah, if you watched him, it's like a lot of times you'll hear pastors and, and pastors are, are smart, I guess. Mm -hmm. But we're just we're just taking other people's ideas and making it our everything's own. regurgitated. <laughs> Where, but then every once in a while you'll get someone's like, oh, that dude's like just uh, he's a teacher. That's, yeah. a, that's what he is. All he does he's is genius. Just, yeah, he's smart. And so he wouldn't give sermons. He would just talk about why right. he believes. Jesus, he believes in Jesus and Christianity, and then at at different lectures, mm -hmm. people would ask him questions. He would answer it, and you can find them all on YouTube. All really good stuff. His book was really good. Yeah. I liked his book. I mean, he's written many books, but the one I read. Um, but it came out after there's most recent investigation that I guess his company RZIM, yeah, Zaki, Rad Zaki, R Zaki, R Ravi Zacharias Industries, or something. In Interna Ministries. International, International Ministry, Ministries. yeah. They like there was too many reports coming out of potential abuse of mm -hmm. all this stuff. So they did a full fledged report investigation and released it all like a month ago. And it came out I was like, oh, this man like yeah. abuses power, sexting, pot, rape, mm -hmm. like all this horrific, like not just like cheated on his wife, like horrific abuse, abuse of power. And yeah, of. Of count, of many different women that that were coming out that for a while were being pushed under the rug because he is too smart. He's one of our best. He's very good at explaining stuff. He's he's making smart people think about Christianity. Let's push that sucker under the rug. Um, and it all came out, and they said, yeah, he for sure did it. Yeah, and see, that's that's the hard part about it. It's what 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 he did is is sickening and disheartening as not just a pastor or a or a church leader, but as a Christian because. He literally would make these women feel like this is what God is calling for them to do. Because what he would say is, I'm so stressed all the time. I have so much going on. The weight of the ministry on my shoulders, I need a release. And I need you to allow that release for me. Yeah. That's, what he would, that's how he would literally pitch it to these women. And he, he owned a, uh, uh, like massage parlors. And he would go there and get a massage, and then he would convince these women to do things for yep. him, which is extremely inappropriate and terrible, right? Uh, Christianity Today, I'll read a quote from Christianity Today about some of the findings. One woman told the investigators that after he arranged for the ministry to provide her with financial support, he required sex from her. Uh, she called it rape. She said, uh, Zacharias made her pray with him to thank God for the opportunity they both received. And as with other victims, called her his reward for living a life of service to God, the report says. Zacharias warned the woman, a fellow believer, if she ever spoke out against him, she would be responsible for millions of souls lost with his reputation when his reputation was damaged. Wow. That, that would, is like the the worst manipulation yep. that you could do. I that that blows my mind that that man did that. He solicited and received sexually explicit photos from more than 200 women mm. who were in their early 20s until a few months before his death. 
um, when he was in May when he was 74. So here, here's the thing with this too, right? And um, I, I, I had someone, someone say this to me recently. Uh, how can a person read scripture? Because there, and it's not just Ravi. Like there are people that that I know who are faithful in reading the Bible, who are faithful in their quiet time and devotion and praying, and then still seem to miss it. Like miss the whole point of it all, and and don't see, and this and for Ravi especially, he that's his whole life and his job breaking down scripture, breaking down what the Bible says, communicating the message of God, mm-hmm. and communicating it in, in, in communicating it in such a way that it is powerful and was and changed the way that many people viewed Christianity in a positive way. How can that guy then do things like this? You compartmentalize it. That's right? so crazy. Like man. how many people are addicted to porn and yeah. are also pastors? Like yeah. what do you do? You compartmentalize it. That's mm-hmm. I just do that. I know I probably shouldn't do it, but I'm mm-hmm. addicted to it. So like you just that's what everyone does, right? right. So like I've done that before. So yeah. I don't know. It's it's hard to it's it's just I don't get how it's not just like looking at porn or an affair or whatever. Those are all terrible things. And our next our next person we're going to talk about did some of those things. Yeah. <laughs> but this is like, geez, abuse, like insane yeah. manipulation and abuse that you obviously know is insanely wrong. Mm-hmm. There's no way for you to justify that. Right. How can you do that while also, is it just, did he actually believe any of this stuff? I think you can believe mm-hmm. and do terrible stuff behind the scenes, but can you do that terrible of stuff and truly believe? I don't know if you can do that. <laughs> like, oh. I, I it just I don't know how you do it, and then what do you do with all of his lectures? What do you do with his books? What do you do like? Right. Are you just done with it? Because there's the 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 thing I wrestle with is if the truth of God is still delivered, mm-hmm. does the messenger destroy the message? Does the fact that Ravi was a horrific person destroy the truths that he was pushing out, or? And I guess you guys, everyone has to determine that for themselves. Yeah. I personally will not read or watch another thing he does, yeah. or not that he's ever done, knowing what he was doing behind the scenes. Well, he, can't do it. Here's here's a good example that isn't in the Christian world either, right? Um, HBO just this past week released that uh, first episode of the um, Woody Allen documentary. Have oh, you heard? They of did. It? I didn't know yeah, they were doing. It one. Just came I out. Definitely want to watch that. Came out this week. It's a four part. Um, married his daughter or whatever right? <laughs> yeah like but also supposedly molested his a different another daughter that yeah. that was adopted yeah um and so they they release this but at the same time they also have woody allen movies on hbo max yeah and so there was a whole outcry of like wait a second mm-hmm. hold on you can release this documentary talking about all the terrible things that woody allen allegedly has done mm-hmm. but you're still promoting his movies and still allowing people to watch his movies yeah. and HBO had to release a statement saying we're not going to take those off of our platform we we think that the viewer should decide whether or not they would like to watch those and they left it at that and that's the same thing that here right it's like same I mean I agree with that yeah like, I, and, and and I do too but it's the same thing with, with Robbie Zacharias right so it's like for you you've decided I can't I can't read any of his stuff. I can't mm-hmm. go back and learn from anything that he's posted because the whole time I'm just going to be thinking this is fake. Yeah. Right. And I agree with that too. Yeah. 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 But and I also have no desire to watch a Woody Allen movie. I mean, I don't even know oh, good ones. Andy Hall's what, good. what all of his movies are. Come right? on, because you're not you're not um I'm not cultured. Yeah, you're not cultured. <laughs> that's but, but you it's only easy. only comic kind of movies for you. My that's point it. is else. it's easy to take that stance when you don't, don't already care. care. Yeah, but when it's somebody that you do care about, we've talked. Well, we've talked about this brand, brand new. new. Right. Talked about that before. With you still listen brand movement. new. Yep, I still. Yeah, I've gotten new. vinyls from them since then. Exactly. And and he, if you don't know anything about brand, it was part. The least thing was part of the Me Too movement, and yeah. basically solicited pictures from underage girls. Yeah. And they haven't released anything since that's come out. But we grew up listening to brand new, and I still like their music. Yeah. And I still can. I still go back and listen to them. Mm-hmm. And so that's the, my point is it's easy to judge something that you don't really care about. Mm-hmm. But when it's something that you do like, all of a sudden everything can change. Yeah. I I definitely don't – with how horrific – there's levels. How horrific his is. Mm-hmm. It's hard for me to to hear anyone justify how you can still get stuff from him. Yeah. For, if it's not just bad stuff, I get – 
how you can still learn stuff from Carl Lentz, which we'll talk about next. Uh-huh. Even though I dislike him way more. <laughs> <laughs> that just a whole anything. Um, but for how horrific his crimes were, it's like, I don't know how you... But, I mean, we listened to Michael Jackson uh, vinyl the other day. Yeah, like that's he, what I'm saying. <laughs> he most likely. That's what I'm saying. It's like, so, how do you... And maybe this is different because... Michael Jackson is just singing about Thriller, right? And where that's, Ravi, that's, that's the album we listen to. Right? <laughs> where, where, where Ravi Zacharias is talking about everything that I believe and the creator and the God of the universe who I have invested my life into and I believe is a salvation for all men and women in the world, right? Yeah. So it, it's, a, it's a little bit of a different <laughs> playing field there too mm-hmm. because it's like, you have higher expectations yeah. for someone that's a pastor talking Absolutely. about yeah. Jesus. That's what, as that's, you should, as yeah. biblically we should. Like I don't have to have high expectations of Michael Jackson. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. um, but for Ravi, we should have high expectations. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm curious what other people would do if if they're just if you actually liked him. If you didn't know about him before, then of course you're not going right. to. But if you actually watched his lectures, but I've watched a couple. You actually watch his debates or whatever, mm-hmm. like. Are you just done with all of it? Like I have one of his books. It might I'm, right. I'm I would never suggest it to anybody now. <laughs> no, even though I I liked it and it made a lot of sense. But I would I would have suggested before all this. Now I'll never tell anyone mm-hmm. to read it because of what happened. But and maybe maybe it's because Ravi is it was teaching people how to live. This is the way you should live your life. Michael Jackson wasn't telling you how to live your life. Yeah, bad. <laughs> <Living back>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so but that you know what i'm saying like that like he's trying to give you instruction on how to be a follower of jesus how to be a christian yeah and then all the while he was doing the horrific things that he was doing mm-hmm. that that's that's the difference i think between a woody allen movie yeah you know and and that do you remember the weird al um, <laughs> that's all. I can, that's I knew anything you just yeah, said. I know. As I was, I was thinking, talking, I could just see your eyes glossing over. I was thinking, eat it <laughs> instead of beat it. <laughs> yeah. What's up, everybody? Thanks for checking out this clip of Not Your Mama's Christian Podcast. You know the drill. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. You can find the whole episode anywhere you get your podcast. You can also follow us on social medias, or you can do none of it. What do we care? 